Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hello everyone, checking in on PCLN, NVDA, Tesla, Netflix, CMG, Daily Weekly time frame. So with the market weakness today and a break of key support, which was that low of Thursday two weeks ago, July 27th, PCLN bulls nowhere near confirming the bullish reversal candlestick from yesterday. We rejected from the lower Bollinger Band resistance and dumped. We broke the low of yesterday. We lost the 100-day moving average support. We closed at the low of the day, and we're now looking at 1836 and 1800 as the next two supports. So it really depends on how significant the market pullback is going to be with how much weakness we see on PCLN. But it certainly didn't help that we were just coming off of a bearish reaction to earnings, and support had not been clearly established yet at this point. Weekly time frame, big time bear volume, losing exponential support, losing the middle Bollinger Band support. If we have a red day tomorrow, we will lose this level for the first time since in first time in 2017, and we only just barely lost it there once. It's really been holding for a year and a half. So on the weekly time frame, the trend will begin changing if we break 1781. So there's a good amount of support before we reach this level, and we're certainly oversold on some time frames, the hourly. So we should see some bounces on the way down at the least, but Getting close to key support, bulls still have a bit of wiggle room to go. NVDA, bearish reaction to earnings. We'll have to see where we settle down pre-market, but just a bad time for earnings with the market weak and having run up so significantly, people more likely to take profits. So support is down at 157.56. We have a gap down here at 147.50. So if the bears are really out over the next couple of days on NVDA in this reaction, that's a target, 147.50. So the all-time high, we're coming off of that level. So again, we have a lot of wiggle room on the weekly time frame. In order to change the trend on the weekly, we're looking at 138.58. And we're currently, well, obviously, we'll have to see how we open tomorrow, but still well above that level. So higher lows still intact, although this bearish MACD cross is going to be a lot closer to following through. Tesla on the daily time frame confirming that bearish reversal candlestick from yesterday. Rejection from the upper Bollinger Band and close at the low of the day. Next support I'm looking at is down at 352.75. And then the 50-day moving average, which held the two days after the gap up on earnings. That's going to be in the upper 340s the next couple of days. So the weekly time frame following through at this point with the bearish or the equilibrium pattern that i was anticipating with our high low of the pullback lower high as this is a bearish reversal candlestick and if we pull back the middle bollinger band support which has held four out of five weeks will be a key level to watch as that's going to be in the low 330s uh as the, we progress the next couple of weeks netflix on the daily time frame also in a bad spot after a bearish reaction to news the bulls did buy that dip but further downside here filling the gap and a lack of support in this zone Support is 167.60, and the gap fills at 163.55. Bears in control, high bear volume, and we've been looking at Netflix bearish, just waiting for the market and waiting for the sector overall. Back up here in the 180s because of the lack of support, highlighting the potential of Netflix to be a nice bear to the downside. So the weekly time frame still strong. It's still just fine, and we have plenty of wiggle room. It's no longer looking like a bull flag, but we are not even giving back the last bullish week in reaction to earnings in these three pullback weeks currently. So middle Bollinger Band support, to lose the higher low pattern, we have to break 144.25, and that's not going to happen anytime soon. So bulls are very comfortable thanks to that bullish reaction to earnings. CMG further downside, no follow through on the bullish reversal candlestick, close at the low of the day, rejection from exponential daily resistance time and time again, and support is looking back four or five years down at 315 to 317, that's the next range of support that I'm looking at, and the momentum is favoring the bears to head down towards that level. Weekly time frame is extremely oversold now as well, down around under 25, but and as long as we keep seeing weakness and no sign of the bulls, there is no reason to be looking bullish here. And we can be patient and give up a little bit of reward to eliminate a lot of risk by waiting for the bulls to prove some strength to us before we even think about making a bullish entry. I appreciate you watching. We'll check back in over the weekend and see if this bearish momentum continues. Have a great night. We'll see you then.